the winner to organize the 222 FIFA World Cup is Qatar. <laughs> Qatar is a country in Western Asia. The capital is Doha, home to over 80% of the nation's population. Qatar had previously been a protectorate under Great Britain, declaring independence on September 3rd, 1971, following the termination dates of treaties with Great Britain. 2.881 million in the 21st century. Qatar emerged as a middle power in the Arab world through its resource wealth, as well as its globally expanding media group. The 2022 FIFA World Cup was awarded to Qatar under controversial circumstances, making it the first Muslim country in the Arab world. The tournament will be the last to involve 32 teams, with an increase to 48 teams scheduled for the 2026 tournament to host the event. In May 2011, allegations of corruption within the FIFA senior officials raised questions over the legitimacy of the World Cup 2022 being held in Qatar. The accusations of corruption have been made relating to how Qatar won the right to host the event. Qatar has faced strong criticism due to the treatment of foreign workers involved in preparation for the World Cup, with Amnesty International referring to forced labor and poor working conditions, while many migrant workers reported having to pay large recruitment fees to obtain employment. There were five bids for the 2022 FIFA World Cup, Australia, Japan, Qatar, South Korea, and the United States. Two FIFA executive committee members were suspended before the vote in relation to allegations of corruption regarding their votes. The decision to host the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, which was graded as having high operational risk, generated criticism from media commentators. It has been criticized by many as being part of the FIFA corruption scandals but FIFA internal investigation and reports cleared Qatar of any violation. Today marks four months and five days till the start of the FIFA World Cup 2022 on 21st November 2022, hosted here in Qatar. This will be FIFA World Cup's first visit to the Middle East to an event that promises to push the boundaries on design, sustainability, innovation, and entertainment. The official emblem was designed by Lisbon-based Brandia Central Branding Agency and unveiled on 3rd of September 2019. It is designed to resemble the tournament trophy, the infinity symbol, and the number 8, reflecting upon the interconnected event and the eight host stadiums. It also evokes imagery of shawls to signify the tournament's winter scheduling and contains waves resembling desert dunes. The tournament's official mascot was unveiled on the 1st of April 2022 during the group stage draw. Its name is Lai, which is an Arabic word meaning super skilled player, live in the minds of everyone. The official match ball, the Al Rila, was unveiled on the 30th of March 2022. It was mainly inspired by the culture, architecture, iconic boats, and flag of Qatar. In Arabic, the word Al Rila means the journey. The ball was designed with sustainability as a priority, making it the first ever official match ball created with water-based glues and inks. The official song of the tournament is Haya Haya, Better Together, performed by Trinidad Cardona, Davido, and Aisha, released on April 1st, 2022, along with the music video. On the 19th of May, 2022, FIFA announced the list of 36 referees and 69 assistant referees and 24 video assistant referees for the tournament. Of the 36 referees, FIFA included two each from Argentina, Brazil, England, and France. For the first time, women referees will referee the games at a major men's tournament. Today, in anticipation of this momentous event, let's take a tour of the venues that will play host to the rise of this new era of football. The first five proposed venues for the World Cup were unveiled at the beginning of March 2010. The country intends for the stadiums to reflect the historical and cultural aspects of Qatar and for the designs to meet the following terms of reference. Legacy, comfort, accessibility, and sustainability. The stadiums will be equipped with cooling systems that aim to reduce temperatures within the stadium by up to 20 degrees Celsius, 36 degrees Fahrenheit, but it is not yet known if this will actually work in the open-air stadiums. 
Their marketing includes statements describing the stadiums as zero waste, and the upper tiers of the stadiums will be disassembled after the World Cup and donated to countries with less developed sports infrastructure. Qatar aspires to be compliant and certified by the Global Sustainability Assessment System, GSOS, for all the World Cup stadiums. All of the five stadium projects launched have been designed by German architect Albert Speer and partners. The Al Bayit Stadium will be the only indoor stadium of the eight used. According to a report released in April 2013 by Merrill Lynch, the investment banking division of Bank of America, the organizers in Qatar have requested FIFA to approve a smaller number of stadiums due to its growing costs. Bloomberg.com said that Qatar wishes to cut the number of venues to eight or nine from the 12 originally planned. Although by April 2017, FIFA had yet to finalize the number of stadiums Qatar must have readied in five years' time, Qatar's Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy said it expected there would be eight in and near Doha schedule. The match schedule was confirmed by FIFA on the 15th of July 2020. The only group stage fixture with a venue and time confirmed was on the opening day featuring the hosts, Qatar will be played on 21st of November at the Al Bayit Stadium. During the group stage, four matches will be played each day. The third place match will be played on the 17th of December 2022 at the Khalifa International Stadium. And the final will be played on the 18th of September 2022 at the Lusail Iconic Stadium. Unlike previous tournaments where the match venues and kickoff times for each fixture are set prior to the draw, the assignment of group fixtures for each match day to a specific venue and kickoff time will only be made after the group stage draw and the teams of each specific fixture are known. For the draw, the 32 teams were allocated into four pots based on the FIFA Men's World Rankings of the 31st of March 2022. Pot 1 contained the hosts Qatar and the best seven teams. Pot 2 contained the next best 8 teams, with the next best 8 teams into Pot 3. Pot 4 contained the 5 lowest ranked teams, along with the placeholders for the 2 Inter-Confederation playoff winners and the UEFA Path A playoff winner. The draw started with Pot 1 and ended with Pot 4, with each team selected then allocated into the first available group alphabetically. The position for the team within the group would then be drawn with the Pot 1 teams automatically drawn into position 1 of each group. The 2022 World Cup will begin with 32 teams in 8 groups of 4. Group A, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, Netherlands. Group B, England, Iran, USA, Wales. Group C, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Poland. Group D, France, Australia, Denmark, Tunisia. Group E, Spain, Costa Rica, Germany, Japan. Group F, Belgium, Canada, Morocco, Croatia. Group G, Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, Cameroon. Group H, Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, South Korea. FIFA World Cup Qatar knockout stage will begin on Saturday 3rd of December and ends on Sunday 18th of December. In the knockout stage, if a match is level at the end of normal playing time, extra time is played, two periods of 15 minutes each, and followed, if necessary, by a penalty shootout to determine the winners. Hoping to see you at the FIFA World Cup Qatar. Make sure to like and subscribe the channel so you never miss another video.